let's say a photo or HDRI to uh, uh, be uh, reflected onto the object but uh, it's not very used, it not, it's not very handy uh, on the fog you can uh, load in a fog to be inside of that material so if you uh, want it to be um, kind of a uh, fleety kind of ball f flying through the air you can load in fog so that uh, it will have this uh, kind of uh, misty color to it on the bump you can load in a bump map or just a noise and uh, this does something cool to the material look at it when I uncheck and check it um, this doesn't actually affect the, the geometry it's just a uh, effect done by the uh, shader itself so it doesn't affect the geometry at all it's just a vis visual effect so if I glow uh, uh, if I uh, make it big it will st you will see it's kind of uh, it's bulging on the top it's not a straight surface I can just open the window to make it uh, clearer see it's very it's a it's a nice effect and uh, you can also set the strings so if I set this to like 5000 it looks really weird look at this Okay, but I'll just set it down to 20. I get this nice, okay, perhaps a bit more 46 to get this nice curvy effect on the ball. Uh, the normal, to be honest, I am not sure what it is. I have never used it. And the alpha, uh, the, in the alpha you can select what should be uh, visible through the material. It's kind of like transparency, but uh, you can. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, it's used when you just want pieces of the, uh, of the object to not be seen. So let's just load in a uh, noise map and uh, set it to uh, box noise, box noise, box, box noise. Now cell noise. Just scale it up so you can see. I'll just set this to a plane so it's easier to see. So now you can look through different parts of uh, the uh, shader. Now it's completely dark. So you can change this like this. Change it, change it like this. Um, just set it back to a sphere. There we go. Okay. Um, the specular is uh, kind of like. Um, I'll just show you. It's easier that way. So let's make it really wide and high. And now we have this large white re kind of reflection, ref uh, reflection from uh, the light source. That's basically what it, basically what it is. It's a white reflection from the light source. And if I make it really thin, we get this very defined um, peak. It's easier to see if I disable reflection. There we go. And make it a little higher and wider. You can see now it's it's the reflection from the light source. And uh, what's usual to do when making glass is to make it really thin, give it a little bit of inner width, give it a bit of fall off, and there we go. A bit, a bit thinner. There we go. Now we have a very defined um, specular. I'll just enable the transparency again. No, wait, uh, reflection. Uh, since we're making glass, we maybe should uh, enable transparency anyways. So enable transparency and just set this to be white. And uh, the color to be orange, since it's a... we have orange color in this place, in the color tab. There we go, that's nice. Uh, material. Okay, and on the specular color you can set what color you want the uh, specular to be. So we'll just set it a little bit orange, very uh, supple. And on the glow you can set a the material to be, to be uh, glowing with a color. Right now it's orange because we have checked the use material color, but if you want it to be have a green glow, you'll just go up here and select green. 
quality but uh, we'll just use material color and uh, up here there's a different parameter parameters like radius and outer strength and uh, inner strength and all that but we'll just disable the glow displacement that's a cool feature this is actually this is kind of like bump but it actually has something to do with the uh, geometry it uh, it um, edits the geometry so let's uh, load up a uh, I'll show you what I mean. Let's uh, set it to plane and just change it like this. You see, even it looks like it's bulging and all, but when we look at it from the side, it's complete, completely flat. But if we load up a uh, disp displacement map into, uh, let's say, a noise, and uh, just select, uh, I don't know, uh, displaced turbulence. And uh, set the height to be 26 meters. When I when we see it from the edge, you can see that it is actually affecting the uh, geometry. Instead, uh, which uh, bump does not do, displacement do. So uh, oh, I also have to uh, check the sub polygon displacement uh, because if you don't, it won't really look that good. That good. Okay, uh, I hope you have learned something from this, and uh, it's not that hard to make a material. I can, for example, make a uh, really weird material by uh, going to color, let's just set this to sphere again, and uh, make the color um, a uh, fresno, and make it black on the top and dark blue on the edges. That was a, was a bit too dark. There we go. And on the uh, luminance, I can set a uh, noise like this, and I can set it to be green. And on the uh, bump, we can have a uh, displaced turbulence. And just bump it up. So you can see now that uh, I made this really weird looking material. So, uh, yeah, you can pretty much make anything you want. Okay. Oh, um, in the next tutorial, I will show you how you can make a uh, nice uh, setup so you can sh see how your material looks in. Uh, uh, looks in uh, the viewport because if I just load into a material, let's say uh, um, bungee, which is a uh, very uh, reflective material, I'll just uh, take away the transparency. And if I make a sphere now and drop the material onto my sphere and uh, render, you might. You might suspect that uh, it would look like this, but when I render it, it looks very boring. And in the next tutorial I will show you what you can do to make it look like it does here. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you learned some uh, new things when it comes to materials. Bye, and uh, have fun with Cinema 4D.